Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have a pretty special video that I've been looking forward to for a while. This is a versus video between the Keychron K2, K4, and K6. I've got them all with me right now and we'll just be going over some basic comparisons and then tell you guys which one's my favorite and you can tell me which one's your favorite if you're using a Keychron keyboard. But let's start with the size. So for size, that's pretty much their very defining difference. The K2 has a 75% layout. That means it has the top function row, it has arrow keys, and then it has some extra nav keys on the right, and it has the small right shift. All of these, these layouts have the small right shift, so if you're buying keycap sets, make sure to keep that in mind. The K4 is a 96% layout and what this means it's pretty much the entire keyboard minus a few keys and then you squish it all together it's missing a few keys and you can go see all of our in-depth reviews on the keychron keyboards i'll link to our playlist with that right here it also has the small right shift as well and it has the number pad so if you plan on using this for work that's super helpful and then the keychron k6 is a 65 percent it has no function row, however, it does have arrow keys and the small right shift as well. Okay, so that was size. That's the main difference between them. And now on to the features. Basically, they all have Bluetooth compatibility. They all have a USB-C cable on the left side and the buttons. They're all Windows and Mac compatible with a flip of the switch. And they all are... Uh, you can connect them with cable or with Bluetooth. They all have the option for an aluminum frame or a plastic frame, white backlight or RGB, and Gateron or LK optical switches. So that's across the board. So for Bluetooth, the K2 and the K4 have Bluetooth 3.0, and these are the older models. The K6 has Bluetooth 5.1, However, Bluetooth is backwards compatible, so either one will work. This one's a little bit more new and updated. The K4 is the only keyboard that comes with the option to get Gateron yellow switches, which is a heavier linear than the red switches. They're fairly smooth. We have a sound test of them, and I'll link that right there or down below. And then the K6 is the only one that offers the hot swappable feature for now and what that means is you can change out the switches to whatever you want you just pluck them out without having to desolder and then solder new ones back in you just push new ones back in so very cool there that makes it a great entry keyboard into the whole mechanical keyboard hobby for the cases the k2 and the k4 lay very flat on the floor and they're pretty thick as well with the k4 being the thickest one of the of them all these two both have single angle kickstands in the back to change up the angle and incline it as needed the k6 has two dual angle kickstands so the you can change up to two more angles in addition to what it already comes with so the k6 does have a little bit of natural inclination however it's still a very thick keyboard although less thick than the other ones okay let's move on to the keycaps they all come with abs double shot keycaps fairly thin and they accumulate fingerprints really fast the k4 has two tone keycaps and in my experience typing with all three the k4 took the longest to accumulate any fingerprints with the k6 and the k2 it was almost immediate with the K6, the legends for me were a little bit small. The font size and the lighting just weren't up to par compared to the K2 or the K4. The K2, when we bought it, came with a rubber USB-C detachable cable and the K4 and the K6, the newer ones, have the braided USB cable. But now I suspect that they all come with the same cable. And the K2 right now is being offered with PBT keycaps on their website just in trial and seeing what the interest is before they expand that to more models. In my opinion, the K2 is probably the best layout. 
it's super easy to use and super easy to transition to if you're just getting into smaller and compact layouts it's very similar to a tkl mechanical keyboard it has the delete and it has a screenshot so pretty convenient there it also has the function row and arrow keys so super easy to use and you can change through the multimedia effects and all that without having to press anything too crazy. With the K6, you have two different layers for that top row. The first one is the multimedia effects, and then the second one is to access the function like FN, F2, F3, things like that. But in terms of features, the K6 is probably my favorite. It's just super customizable, and you can mod them on this one. I clipped, lubed, and band-aid modded the stabilizers. I changed out the switches to halo clears and then put some new keycaps on there, which looks pretty awesome. And it's pretty easy to use. They still all need a wrist rest when gaming, but with typing, you can just hover your hands above them and that's fine. And then there's a new one coming out, the Keychron K8 which is a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard with all the same features, the Bluetooth, the Mac Windows compatibility. The, so this one's gonna have Bluetooth 5.1 and also have the option to be hot swappable as well. You get the same switch options and the same backlight and case options, but I think they're gonna make it better with the inclination. And then the layout is very friendly to most people with 10 keyless, which means you can buy some standard keycap sets and put that on there without worrying about that small right shift. Hope this video was super helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about these three keyboards, feel free to comment down below. We're planning on keeping the K2 and K6 for a pretty long time. And then the K4 will probably be put up on eBay pretty soon because we're trying to get rid of some of our keyboards before moving. Um, can't take them all with us, unfortunately. That would just be crazy. But before doing that, I will put the original ABS keycaps back on. With the keycap sets, I've been using the Razer PBT Quartz Pink for this. Um, with the K6, I'm using some HK Gaming Chalk. PBT die sub keycaps and then the K2 is using some YDMK OEM white gray and red PBT keycaps. I'll link them all down below if you're interested in checking those out. I know keycaps are super fun to play around with and we got a bunch of keycaps on the way so really excited for that. Hope this video was helpful. I'm going to link you guys here to all of our Keychron keyboard reviews. And then here to a video that YouTube actually thinks that you guys might like from us. Subscribe here if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one.